double shielded cables and again use the best cables you can afford if you're serious about building a robot for production I cannot emphasize that more than anything this is the circulatory system of your robot if it's not done correctly you will have stability issues here's what actually happened when they cycled on the torch <laughs> There you go. There you go. So now we've seen the entire process. Torch off, everything seems right. Torch moves around properly. As soon as the torch is fired, all of a sudden all control is basically lost and the robot does nothing and you have a paperweight. So once again, don't believe me. You've watched a video. It's a short video. I'm trying to keep these as short as possible. I'm linking over to my overview on Lincoln Electric's PDF manual on EMI and grounding, and you guys be the judge.